37 minutes, China pulls through. The number four seed, Li and Liu. Next up, we have a women's doubles. It's Netherlands versus Japan. Nina Peek and Cheryl Sienna. Here we have it. We're at the bottom of this draw that we see right now. It's round two. The winners will come out and play the number 12 seeds from China. Up top we have two the seeds that made it through as well. From Thailand, number 16 seed. And from Indonesia, the number eight seed. To lead the way, it's Netherlands. And first is Nina Peak. And your partner, Cheryl. And we're just getting ready for the coin toss. Oh, the Dutch team on the far side. Have Japan and white on the near side so far. And after the coin toss, they can choose what side. So they just pick a box first, head to head. This is the first time in the meeting. The decision is what side we want. Shout out to surf. Who's going to receive? So Japan still keeps the uh, near side and on the screen. And we have Cheryl Sainan, 22 years of age, 167. Seven centimeters. Her ranking is 22. Roman in the Netherlands, and uh, the highest world ranking together has been 20. Well, her partner, more experienced of the two, has been playing for much longer, but she's only 26 years of age. Her height is 166 centimeters. Her current ranking is 22, and with her other partner, she's been as high as seven in the world. Well, they had a first round, a good win actually against Indonesia. It was a close battle, 23-21 in the first game, and then 21-18. 40 minutes to play. And then we have Onimoto. 27 years of age, 166 centimeters. Current ranking is number five. Highest was only number four, so just one mark off their highest world ranking. In Hiroshima, Japan. Partner, 26 years of age. Shiho Tanaka, 160 centimeters. From Kumamoto, Japan. The same ranking. Number five in the world they sit. Well, they're number four seeds coming into the world championships, so they had a bye. So it was off yesterday in the women's doubles. Sometimes that's good for a little rest. Sometimes it's nice to get into the hall and have a feel. The hall is a little bit different, so this venue is quite big. We have five courts on the go right now. And we'll be going down first to one in the final, but uh, every day they'll deduct a court. We've had some issues on one of the courts. There was some oil coming from the roof, so they just actually had enough room to actually move the carpet over by about a meter. So lucky that uh, didn't really have much of an effect or delay 
final preparations, you want to have a quick warm-up. You're allowed two minutes when, once you get on court, a two-minute warm-up. So definitely you're downstairs really moving around the court, stretching, warming up, because as soon as that first serve, you want to be ready to go. Well, this women's doubles team on the near side, very solid defense. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Selena Pick and Terry Simon, Neville. Austria, David. And on my left, Koharu, Yonimoto, and Chiyo Sarayan, Japan. Klaus Schlaben. Terry Simon to serve, to Shiho Tanaka. Love all. Play. Well, Sharon, Cheryl Sainan to serve. In the blue on the far side, it's Netherlands and Selena Peake is her partner. Serve is over. One love. Selena, more experienced at the two, has been as high as number seven in the world with her former partner. Ah! And on this side, two seated love. fourth coming into this tournament. Yonimoto, really solid all around. Good, complete player. Likes to play the back and, and set up Tanaka at the front. Three, love. has to be under 1.15 meters. It's a fairly Five, new rule for these two. players. Prior, it used to be your waist, your third rib. Players were getting away with it. It would come up really high, actually, and nobody would call it. So now they have a new system in play. There's a line by the service judge, and you have to contact the shuttle be underneath the line, which is 1.15 meters. Good smashing by Peak at the back. Six, Just wide. That's two. the plan, though, to do. Nice and steady. Gets up behind it. Too much. Right thought, though, how she comes across on the smash. But uh, bad execution, but definitely the right spot. Seven, two. That one off, gets a racket up on it. Not enough from the 22 year old. The 
dad was a trainer. She wanted to play some badminton, so really liked it and started playing more. Started competing when she was just 10 years old. Cheryl Sainan. on the far side are bronze medalist at the European Championships earlier in Rilla, Spain. So they won the Scottish Open in 2017 and winner of the Belgium Canada, International. Two. Well, Incredible. Japan takes a strong lead in the first. It's 11-2, great smash. Trying to find the spots. And here's confirmation, 11 to two. Stress too much. And we don't try to take these bad chances. So we're only taking the good chances. And that is usually when we put the shuttle downwards to the inrush. You know, we don't step too forward and hard shots at us. Otherwise, we just lift them away. Safe blocks, lift them, make them move. And we work from the back line. Also work on so we get the good chance. We're stressing a little bit too much in the game. Now. Four, two, okay? 20 seconds. Four, two, 20 seconds. by 10 points. 12, 2. <laughs> Just puts it away, keeps 14, that pressure on. Watch how quick two. it is, hard one. Tries to go through the legs, not enough. There it is. Girls getting a little bit caught today. Right. Cool. Over. Selena Peak quick to the net, Three, places it right 30. in the back corner. Finding that hole. 14, 3. A broken racket. Sounds like it anyway. Maybe not. Really clash the rackets down the middle. 15, 3. Well, stayed intact. It sounded like it snapped. There it is. Puts it away. Good defense. Took a quick peek at it. <laughs> Did I break it or not? Rally. Yeah. 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 
at the back. Nice and patient. cross court. Comes in quick, puts the pressure on that time. Good chance from Selena Peak. She really controlled 18. that well. Watch how fast she is, comes to the net, and just adds that extra pressure to the, her opponents. 26 years of age. back in 2014 at the European Championships and 2016 the silver and now with her partner in 2018. Her new partner, they won the bronze as well at the European Championships. Now really getting into this match. Not making so many easy mistakes. Playing on par. Good attack. This is the way they need to play, though, if they have a chance of pushing them in the second game. Great defense. Much better rally that time, just out the side, but a much better rally Sun's than over. at the beginning of the game, and that's what they need to do. They need to keep fighting. Nice, consistent, mix it up. You know Japan's solid on defense. You need Nine, these long rallies six. with uh, very few mistakes. They found the hole okay. right at the very back corner. Cheryl coming to the, the coming to the net. Quickly watch this, rack it up. Nobody home on that one. Seven. And Japan will take the first game handily. 21 to seven. Nice, solid defense, attacked. Had some good ones, 21-7.
Shuttle's coming back a lot of times, right? So that means it's, it's patience, patience, patience. Right? This, I didn't mean that. Just then it, there comes a hole because we're like the last one to train, I just push it forward because yeah, I was pushing it. And can we can we hide the energy also up a little bit? Because I think like right now we're just anticipating. Right? We're not really showing that we are there. Even though it's not going exactly like we want it, show some energy, right? No matter what. Come on. Call two, 20 seconds. Call two, 20 seconds. against the Dutch from Netherlands. And on your side, Selena Peek, the more experienced of the two. We just heard their coach saying, okay, come on, show. There's a few rallies that were great in the la last part of that first game. Show. So over. Even if you have to act sometimes because it's not going your way, you have to show that you're energetic, you, you want this game. So try to turn it around. Of course, you have to be very patient against this Japanese team. Pushing it forward and, and kind of encourage each other. It's not easy to play somebody that they don't make mistakes, but you, you have to just keep fighting. Was a quick serve and outside again. Well, our team one. on the far side from Japan, they've been ranked number four recently, best in the world. They are sitting at number five. Super Series final back in 2017. That was a very big win. We were the finalists at the Denmark Open. We made a round of semifinals at the China Open one. and also at the All Englands. And recently in Thailand as well. So a very solid Japanese duo. Again, the women's doubles right now is pretty incredible. Total BWF World Championships. We 
need it for three rounds. Over. Losing to Two, Camilla, Yule, six. and Christina Pedersen. 27-25. Quarterfinal last year, we're looking to up that this year. Great cutoff. Well, it's tough. So it's over. And the, the, the Dutch team, they really can't get the way they can play. It's tough. You just, you're struggling to fight, get into it. They had a few good rallies in the first game, and that's what they can play. They can play better. Just tough. On the other side, they mean business, so they're not letting them get away with anything. Wow, what a shot. There we have it. Nicely put right to the net. A good attack from the Japanese, but uh, watch this. Goes cross on that, finds a hole. Perfectly placed. Really reaching on that one. That's what they have to do on defense. Try to move their base up just a tad. They come out on top, Five, nice and steady, eight. waiting for their opportunities, not forcing anything. It's tough when you're playing somebody with great defense on the other side, but you do have to be patient, wait for their opportunity. Just down by three. Pressure, watch this. Nice Eight. snap down the middle, puts it on the ground. There we go. Puts it out or in, I'll take it anyway. Says, watch out. I got Seven, it. And it's going nine. to the ground. Oh, well, they turned it on in the second, Eight, that's for sure. Nine. Much better patience. Looking for those holes. Seven and into the break, eleven to eight. 
well side here. In general, more activity in the legs all the time. It's good. So keep it up here. Keep staying aggressive, but not over aggressive. Keep playing the simple shots when you're under pressure, and keep taking these chances forward in the court. Okay? Come on. Four seeds from Japan on the far side in white, leading the way in 25 minutes of play. 12, 8. Up by four. Well, they're the number three Japanese team. They're seated fourth at this tournament. Their world ranking is five. Japan has really amazing doubles at the moment in the women. We have number two, number three, number five, number nine, and 13 and 14. Six women's doubles teams in the 13, top 14. Eight. This year they won the Uber Cup. Uber Cup is a team event. We play two women's doubles and three women's singles. Service fault goal, too high. And that is a service fault. Too high. Unamoto, too high. Service over. Nine, China dominated Yuba Cup for many, many years, and then this time it was Thailand beating China out in the semifinal with an amazing win, and that was history made for them to make the finals. Good cut off by Cheryl. But Japan 10, captured 30. the 2018 Yuba Cup. and that one goes into the net. 11, 13. She wound it up for that one. Mix up from the back of the court. So it's over. 14. Onomoto really changing up the shot. Goes wide. Service over. Well, the Netherlands 15, actually made 12. the finals at Uber Cup one year back in 2006. And in Guangzhou in 2002, they won the bronze medal. So, a lot of great badminton. Oh, hits an net. Lucky break for Service over. the Dutch team. That was an easy put away. Watch this. Even the best 13, do it. That was a for sure point right there. Oopsie. A mistake. Mio Dina too, that uh, won a medal for Netherlands, originally from Indonesia, she won a silver. Seven in over. Athens, Jungnan, China beat her in the final. Mio Dina had to take, settle for the silver medal. 
that rally. Cutoffs by the Japanese duo on the far side. 18, to put it away. It's up on a racket right down the middle. Judith <laughs> Nolenbeck, too. She's coaching the Swiss team now. But, uh, she was an Olympian as well from the Netherlands. 2000. Perfectly placed. It was a high 19, smash. 13. Watch the angle changes it up. That's what you need to do. Try to always mix it up, coming across the body or different heights of the smashes. Makes the defense that much harder. Your racket up and really put the pressure on. Match point, 13. Well, we had some ups and downs from this Dutch team. They played better yeah. in the second. Fairly new team together, though. Take a lot of experience away with this one, and it's match point for Japan. And that does it. Japan with their first win in this World Championships. They're the number one, fourth seed. They had a mission going into this game. They came out very strong. Next they didn't let Netherlands get on a roll Nicole at all. Nishimoto. It wasn't that they played bad, seven. it's just that they didn't allow them to get 13. into the game, and that made the difference. Great attack, superb defense. Japan takes it 21-7, 21-13.